I'm Megan, thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel where I'm putting together a series of somatic shorts. And these first ones are focusing on your neck and shoulders. Typically a very problematic area, but there are ways that we can decrease our own pain and create freedom in our body through very simple, safe movements. So today you will want um, a blanket or a pillow for underneath your head. And I have a yoga block, but you could substitute a pillow. And we're gonna start by coming down on our left side of our body. So coming into a side-lying posture, you're gonna want that pillow underneath your left ear so that your neck is in a neutral position or slightly down. What we don't wanna do is, I'll use the block, is lift it higher to where the right ear is closer to the shoulder, the right side of the neck is short. You wanna keep both sides of the neck long or even the right side longer and then just shimmy around that bottom left shoulder. So instead of being on the outer edge of the shoulder here, you feel like you're resting more on your shoulder blade. Now we're gonna extend the left leg long and take the right knee, it's bent, keep it bent and put that second pillow, or like I said, I have a block underneath. What you wanna to try to do is if that's not there, the hip's gonna be falling forward and you wanna stack the right hip on top of the left. So as much padding as you need to do that. If that I might bring my block up a little bit. So stacking the hips. And feel your right shoulder. We'll start this one from the shoulder. And just begin to make circles with just the right shoulder. Think of going all the way around the numbers on a clock. And what you may notice is you're using your arm to move your shoulder. So if your whole arm is moving, meaning your elbow, your hand, your wrist, let the arm relax. Let the weight of the arm fall into your body and see if you can isolate this shoulder movement. And then you can also bring the shoulder the opposite direction. Just these simple circles all the way around. Go really slow. The slower you go, the more, to, the more we notice where those catches are, where we kind of uh, have stickiness. And you want to go slowly through that stickiness to wipe it away. Once we've found the mobility in the shoulder joint, We'll take our hand, and if you want to do this to your breath, you can. As I breathe in, I'm going to take my hand in front of me and all the way overhead. And then as I breathe out, I start to bring it behind me and back down towards my hip. So really just making a full circle with the arm. Watch that we're not bending the elbow, so just go as far to the back as comfortable for you. Once you've begun to find these arm circles, we'll let the head follow. So think of moving from your nose or your skull. And as your hand begins to go overhead, let your nose go back towards the back of your, where your hand is. And then you're gonna roll onto the base of your skull towards the right ear as the hand goes over to the right. And then chin will come down or nose towards the chest as the hand comes down towards the hip. So just allowing your head, your eyes, your gaze to follow your hand, going very, very slow. You can do it to your breath or not. Sometimes I just listen to my breath and do the movement much slower than my breath. So you're just watching your hand, and you can actually watch your hand with your eyes closed as well. It's all part, your body will map you differently depending on if your eyes are opened or closed. And see what it feels like to move your head from your nose or your skull. You can also think of moving your head from your chin. Does that feel different? And then once we've done one more of these, we're gonna trick ourselves just a little bit. So you're gonna continue to take the arm in circles in the same direction, but now you're gonna look in the opposite direction of the arm. So as the arm goes back to the right, the head goes off to the left. And then as the arm goes down towards the hip, I look up and over. So just like you're not wanting to see, maybe you have a surprise for yourself in your hand <laughs> and you don't wanna know what that surprise is. Somebody just, slipped you a gift in your hand, and you're just trying not to look at what it is. So something I see often when we begin to do this one 
is if you do hold a lot of tension in your neck, you might be trying to lift your head up to move it. Keep those neck muscles relaxed. Let the left ear just stop then and let the left ear fall into the ground. So your head is supported by the earth, right? Remember that and just letting it roll in the opposite direction of the arm. Once again, this simple one can be done with eyes opened or closed. You might even lead with your eyes. Let your head roll from your eyes. Take your vision the opposite way. And then try to close your eyes and lead from your skull and your nose. Do a couple more circles. Enjoy this free movement in your shoulder, your neck. And then bring that arm in for a landing. Before we switch sides, if you want to hug your knees into your chest and just make yourself into a little fetal ball, you can rock your body. Maybe roll that right shoulder again. Hmm. Just pausing. Pausing to say thank you to your right shoulder, the right side of your neck. And then we're going to switch sides. So you might be able to just flip over. I'm going to turn towards you. This is a really nice movement for the neck and shoulders and that it is more of a rotation. So the last practice we did was a lateral bend in front to back. So this takes your neck through a whole new movement. So now we'll be resting on our right side. Make that comfortable. Let your right ear rest on the blanket or the pillow. Making sure that, too, when you're rolling your head, you're not falling off the back. So you want whatever it is that's under you, stick it out towards the back so it's still supporting you. And then the right leg will lengthen. And you'll put the block or the blanket, whatever, underneath the left leg, just so the knee's not falling down and your hip's not pulling forward. We want to stack the left hip on top of the right. Keep that symmetry in the pelvis. And you, if you feel any discomfort in your bottom right shoulder, instead of being on the outer shoulder, just let yourself draw that arm forward a little and be more resting on the shoulder blade. Pausing for a moment. So you can sense what parts of your body are resting on the ground. Where is your, your support coming from? And then feel your left shoulder and begin to slowly make circles with the left shoulder. And if we're moving from our arm, we'll know because we're moving the elbow and the wrist. The elbow and the wrist might move only because they're responding to the shoulder. But can you really um, try to wake up the muscles in and around the collarbones and the shoulder blades. So we, we get to recruit the muscles that we want. That's what we learn through somatics, is we have control. We can voluntarily say how we want to move different parts of our body, or we can move the same part of our body in different ways. I could move my hand from my shoulder. I can move my hand from my hand. And then switch the direction of the movements the direction of the circles. Should feel nice and soothing, just rolling that shoulder. And relax. Every now and then scan yourself too. Watch you're not holding tension anywhere else. In the hip, the jaw, the eyes are soft. And then we'll begin to make those full circles with the arm. So just the arm first reaching from the bottom of your body towards the center and then over the top without bending the elbow. Keep the arm straight and feel how the arm is connected. The arm plugs into the shoulder socket. So we're still moving from the shoulder, but we're also moving the arm now. Taking a few more of those. And then we're going to allow the head to follow, like your, your gaze is following the hand down and across. So your head will make a nice, easy circle around 
fully supported. We're not trying to lift the weight of the head. We're just letting it roll. Think of the weight of your head and the way it's resting on your blanket or pillow, and you're just rolling it to watch your hand. You can try initiating the movement from your chin. What does that feel like? Versus your nose or the skull itself. You can try doing it with your eyes opened and closed. So this is all part of our brain reading our body and where it is in space. And it reads it differently to recruit muscles differently. Once we do a few more circles with the gaze following the hand, then we'll change it up. And the arm will continue to go in the same direction. Watch what often happens is the arm tries to switch directions. It's just this little brain glitch, as I call it. But you're going to look in the opposite direction of the hand and arm. I'm getting that going like you don't want to look at your hand. Really slow. Take your time, feel yourself through movement, but also through your breath. Explore it with your eyes opened and closed. See what it feels like to move from your nose or even your soft palate in the roof of your mouth. And uh, just getting a nice, intimate relationship between the shoulders and the neck in rotation, letting them play together. A few more rounds. And then take that arm back, let it relax, take your head down. Breathe in and out a few times. If you want to come back into that fetal curl, you can hug your knees in. Just rock yourself, enjoy. We roll that left shoulder around again. You're welcome to stay there for as long as you'd like. Thank you for joining me for this somatic shorts video. Hopefully it helped to release your shoulders and some tension in your neck. And I'm gonna continue to Try to keep these, some of these videos a little shorter. If you're looking for full-length practices, I have lots of those. Or you can take two of these and do them in conjunction with one another. So thanks again, especially to my patrons for sponsoring me and keeping this channel going. Peace, joy, love, and light.